What's up, guys? It's Manga Time once again. I'm here today to bring you my review of Bleach 569. Um, and I haven't actually started reading the chapter yet, because this is going to be one of those videos where I've seen it done before when people kind of like read the chapters as they're going along, and then you get to see their initial reactions. And uh, since Biakia arrived last week, I kind of figured this would be a good week to do it, because I've been kind of. well, not really. Well, kind of psyched for this battle. It's more that I don't want to see Asnot die, but, you know, um, it's got to happen at some point. Um, but before we begin, I just want to thank all you guys who checked out Culture Shock last week. I really appreciate that. Um, and before we go on, at this, I just want to talk about something else very quickly. Uh, over on DeviantArt, I'm, I'm running a Stern Ritter popularity poll. And obviously, not everyone will here will have DeviantArt. So, in, if that's the case, I'd really appreciate if you took part and if you let you know, in the comments below, who your three favourite Sturmitter are, in no particular order, and you don't have to give a reason, just let me know in the comments below who your three favourite Sturmitter are. Two rules, if you want your votes to be counted, no unnamed Sturmitter, so, sorry Colonel Sanders, um, and no Uryu or you Harvark, because they're not really Sturmitters. So, without further ado, let's go on the chapter, and I've actually managed to uh, avoid seeing the title, which is a pretty amazing because they usually stand out and kind of give away a major part of the chapter occasionally, so... You know, let's have a read. I hope it's good. If nothing happens, I'm going to be... And I have no reaction, it's going to be pretty... Um, but you know... Okay, so... There's Biakia. Biakia comes to rescue Rukia. Oh, great. Oh, man. Look at Rukia. Already she's like... Me, Summer? I kind of feel like I should be playing the uh, the OST Nightmare, you know the one that's like when Biaki kills Zimari. Great music. Ha! As not such a classic. How the organs are ripped out of you. Oh, I, I didn't realise he was missing a chunk of his mouth. It looks a bit like he's got a skull. Just looks like a skull. Classic as not. That's such a great line. Did you lose some weight? <laughs> we pulled out your stomach completely. What an asshole. Biaki's just like, I ain't got time for this shit. <laughs> oh yeah. Don't look him in the eyes. It's too late. Okay, as not's eyes eye wall thing. If you remember it kinda of got cut down uh yeah, at the end of last week. And he seems to be trying to rebuild it. Uh, oh shit. Uh, oh, okay, Biakia's just shattered it. Um. Oh, he's speaking. Who is the late one? Oh. Oh, I see. <clears throat> so he already covered the ground with his bank eye. Fair enough. Uh, doesn't he have to drop his sword? Maybe that... Uh, I, I presume in the royal realm he no longer has to drop his sword to use his bank eye? You indeed have a nice bank I really wanted it. <laughs> Great character. Seriously. Oh. Oh, okay. Look closely if you have used my bank eye even once. You should know. Ah. So he's using his cheek eye. Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ. It's going to be just some ridiculous power-up. Oh, no. This is the cheek eye I just sent. That's a cool picture. Just sent one Zachary. That's cool. I like that. Oh, okay, okay, I like that, Koo. I, I like that Biakia had forgotten what bonds are. I don't think he had, considering he wipes the fucking floor with Tsukushima because Tsukushima is a character that breaks bonds. But fair enough, whatever. I'll go with it. I'll go with it, Kubo. I must thank you, as nod. Oh, that's cool, I like how he says his name. <laughs> I don't know why. Is this. Is this. Is this the first time Biakia, apart from Ichigo, has said their name, his enemy's name? I don't think he ever called Tsukushima. Did he call Tsukushima his name? Can't remember. But, uh. Biakia has not, like, freaking the fuck out. Whoa! Did Biakia just, like, slice him down the middle? This wave of. Oh, no, I don't think he did, actually. Okay, I think in the picture above, Asnot's body is bursting. And then it does burst. Okay, so Biakia hasn't actually hit him yet. He just his body's just burst. Okay. 
I won't. Oh no. Asnot's having a villainous breakdown. Oh, come on. I don't understand why. Wait a minute. Why is that causing him to have a villainous breakdown? So he's pissed that Biakia has remembered what like bonds are. Maybe we're gonna get some thing like as not hates friendship or something like that. Ugh. Christ. It's just body is just what the fuck is that? I'll throw you into a sea of pain and fear. That's cool. What the okay, his eyes are like melting. So reminiscent of Zamari. Um Oh man, <laughs> the cute cute siblings just like <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. While coming here, I felt your Oriatsu. You've become strong, Rukia. Whoa! It only took him like the entire series to say that. Although I'd have thought like him allowing her to become a lieutenant was like the unspoken way of saying that. But whatever. Nisama. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh come on, that is. Ridiculous. What? She's like crying because he said. Okay, I. Okay. Usually I'd think that's ridiculous, but the fact that Kubo's decided to show flashbacks back to her time when uh, Biakia was completely dismissive of her. In fact, that particular panel right there uh, on the left is the one where Biakia says, um, What squad did you get? No, what seat did you get? And she said, I'm unranked. And he's like, Okay, you can go away now. That's cool. I like that. Uh, in fact, that shows you. Well, in some ways, it shows you how far Ruki has come. In others, it shows you that she's just the same girl who cries over her, Biakia, uh, her brother's acknowledgement. Um, okay, that's cool. Fear isn't born from nothing. Is this Biakia's way of, like, saying fuck you to Asnot's powers, basically? Because Asnot's powers are entirely based around the idea that fear can be born from absolutely nothing. Um... I mean, okay, I can kind of buy that. I can kind of buy it because it's it's true that both stories are true. Fear is a, a an instinctual thing. It's an instinct. <laughs> it's a primal thing. But at the same time, there is generally a reason for you to feel fear. Just because you can feel fear, um, for for like no reason, because it is an instinct. You, okay, I can buy that. I can buy that. You, you generally can. You have to feel fear. So now that Biaki has kind of said that, are you still scared? No. Okay, I can. I can buy it. And does that mean that they're not going to be affected by Az's power at all? Because fucking hell, what the fuck is that? That's disgusting. It's the end. Biaki Akuchki. Okay, that's Jesus. That's disgusting. What? Okay. Oh. So Az had a second body inside his body. I love this character. Um. As soon as I kind of saw this, it's like the Attack on Titan theme music comes on. His his old body is now hanging upside down like an empty bloody skin dress from his new body's face, which is deformed and looking horrible and everything. Um. But his massive's got like an eye hanging out. That's disgusting. Um. This is kind of typical of Kubo, though, to make the bad guy into some really ugly-ass motherfucker before he kills him off. Um. Oh! What? I won't be the one to defeat you. Wait a minute. Okay, I kind of like that. Actually. I kind of like that. Wait a second. Does this mean we're going to, uh... Wait a second. Oh, she's taking a pose. I think she's got a bank. I... Admittedly, I've been saying that for fucking ages now. Um... I wonder why Yaki's not going to fight Asda. That's kind of weird. Is this because it's... I don't know. Is this, like, Rukia's battle now or something? I kind of like this, actually. This is this is neat, though. This is Yaki giving Rukia, like, a pep talk. And Az is freaking out because he's not going to get to fight Biakia. That's a little bit of a disappointment, uh, actually. 
Maybe Biaki is now like so bloody powerful that Koopa doesn't want him to just one shot as. What you see on him is not fear. If you have no fear in your heart, what you see reflected on him is his frightened face. He does look a bit scared, I suppose, but he also looks fucking ugly. Um, okay, I don't know what's happening there. He's like trying to run at her, but. Uh, Bank. Oh my god, she's got a fucking bank card. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. I, I, I've been saying it for ages. Fucking knew it. I have to admit that a little earlier I didn't think she was going to pull one out when she was getting her ass handed to her. Oh my god, Bankai Haka no Togame. There's no translation. What does that mean? What does it mean? Oh, unless it means the White Haze, which was the chapter title. Completely forgot to mention that. Uh... I kind of figured the white haze was going to just mean like a haze of Piakia's petals, because in the manga they're actually white. Um, but no, that was a little bit of a red herring, actually, I think. Oh, shizzle! <laughs> a shining pillar overwhelmingly white. And you get this wicked ass page at the end of the Vandermark City, and it's just massive beam of light shooting a ring of light out top, on top of it. That's the end of the chapter. Wow! I actually really like how that chapter went down. Initial thoughts are just rushing through my head. I really like that. Um, I kind of thought Biaki was going to fight him. That would have been the predictable way out. Lots of people are going to be happy with this, I think. Biaki giving a pep talk to Rukia is neat. I can, I can kind of buy the whole fear is, is not born of nothing. Um... I can buy it a lot more than I can buy my body is absolute zero. Speaking of which, though, okay, that's a bit weird. Rukia can't even properly control her Shikai. What the hell is she doing using Bankai? Um, and what the hell is her Bankai going to be if absolute zero is her Shikai? Okay, no, that's fine. Okay, I think Asnot's going to die. Next chapter. I think Asnot's going to die. Um. If he doesn't, that'd be great. Uh, but the fact that Rookie used the Bankai is awesome, though. I think that's that's that is awesome. Um, I think it would have been illogical for her not to have one at this point in the story. That's just the way the story's going. Um, as is clearly not going to be very happy about not fighting Biakia. In fact, I think he's going to try and bypass Rukia altogether and attack Biakia, and Rukia's going to fuck him up. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that was good, actually. I, I, I liked the whole pep talk from Biakia to Rukia. That was kind of like... Uh, I want to say their relationship full circle, because he's acknowledging her as a warrior on the battlefield, and um, he's, uh, you know, he's like... He's basically saying you're my equal. In a, in a way, he's saying you're my equal. Um, I tell you what, I'm very glad we didn't get. We didn't get any of Biakia's pride bullshit. Um, Kubo's gone about this the best way, in my opinion. He's definitely gone about this the best way. Uh, it's the least, it's, it, technically it's the least predictable way in my opinion. Oh, that's bright. Um, <laughs> he, okay, uh, and, um, Biaki is not going on one of his pride spiel speeches. If Rukia says that at the end though, oh my god. Can you imagine if at the end Rukia was like, I'm killing you because you pointed your blade at my pride. <laughs> my Christ's sake. Okay, that's cool. I like that. That's cool, I'm happy. You know, I don't have too much else to say, actually, about this. Uh, what the hell's up with that body coming out of Asnot, though? I mean, like, as soon as we saw that he had a stitch to a body, everyone was like, I want to see if there's anything inside it. Turns so out it was another body. In fact, there was a, um... There's a fan art on DeviantArt of this... It came out, like, a couple of weeks ago, of this massive-ass body coming out of As. Talk about prophetic. Um, as for Rukia's Bankai... I think it's going to be a scythe. In fact, I think it can't be anything else. Um, yeah, of course, I might be wrong. Probably will be wrong. But uh, Kubo's original design for Rukia incorporated the scythe into it, and I think that was homaged in the, four, in the third mu movie. But I can definitely see it being her Bankai in the canon manga. Um, I just think it would work. Um, I think it would work perfectly, in fact. Um, unfortunately, I don't know the translation of Haga Hagano... Togame or something like that. Hakano Togame or something like that. It's called. Um, uh, I might have to wait for the manga stream translation for that. 
But yeah, I think that's about it, guys. Um, I wonder, obviously Kubo is teasing the fact that Biakia's Bankai is now considerably more powerful than it was before. So maybe Biakia's going to fight one of the top tier Stonewriters. Well, I don't know who's top tier and what, but um, he's going to fight someone else. I'm going to throw my bets down now that Biakia is going to fight the Gekia Guest Stonewriter, the one with the, the staff and the, mind, and the mind control. Just because Biakia always gets the mindfuck opponents. Uh, so I think he's going to get that guy later on. That's kind of it for this review, though, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this chapter. I'm going to drop a solid 10. I, I can't think of anything I don't like. Um, I thought it was great. Uh, my my only niggle is the fact that how is Rukia really going to use Bankai believably when she couldn't even properly use her Shikai, you know what I mean? Well, she could use it properly, but she was in danger of damaging herself. Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comments below, guys, what you thought of this chapter. Uh, and also give me your top three favourite Sturmators. Remember, that'd be great of you. If you could do that, and but other than that, guys, I love the chapter. I mean, what do you think, Rukia Bankai? I mean, this is huge for the series. Uh, what do you think it's going to be? Let me know in the comments below. And is next week the end for Asnot? But other than that, guys, I shall catch you next time. See you later.